Right then, so it's time to look at some Second Assault gameplay. Yesterday, I was invited to the EA headquarters, along with some other YouTubers, to go and play the brand new Second Assault DLC that's coming first to the Xbox One. It was a really good event, it was a really nice time to catch up with some other Battlefield YouTubers like Jack Frags, Wintergore, Charboy, Matt the Musketeer, so all in all, it was a really good day and I enjoyed it. But most of all, I enjoyed capturing that gameplay. So what you're watching in the background right now, I'm sure you've worked out, is Operation Firestorm 2014, the re-envisioned version of Firestorm from Battlefield 3 in the Frostbite 3 engine for Battlefield 4. Now obviously Firestorm is a map that's focused on that all-out vehicle warfare, and that doesn't lack in Firestorm 2014. It's a really, really good upgrade from the map from Battlefield 3. The improved graphics and destruction play a massive part, of course there are ways to take things down that you couldn't do before, the walls are more destructible than they used to be, the foxholes that you can create in the ground are absolutely massive, so trying to block a path for a tank, if you can build a foxhole big enough it won't be able to get over the foxhole, it will just get stuck in it, so things like that really does bring to the whole atmosphere. Now the game modes that you're seeing in the background are either Capture the Flag or TDM and they both work really well. One cool thing that I found is on TDM you can actually use the skid loader which was in the Back to Karkham maps for Battlefield 3 but they've put the skid loader in the TDM version of Firestorm. You'll have also seen in the first clip that I showed you that the skid loader makes an appearance in the Capture the Flag game mode and against all odds Matt the Musketeer, Wintergore and Lutin managed to actually deliver the flag to our own base with the skid loader. I don't know how they managed to do it, I don't know how they managed to actually fend off all the enemies as they came through, but they managed to do it. Capture the flag just works exactly the same as it did in Battlefield 3. All you have to do is go and take the enemy flag and take it back to your own base whilst trying to defend your own flag from the enemy taking it. So there's no real change there. I just think it works really well on some of these maps though, especially on Firestorm and Caspian Baller, it worked really well. Now, I'm going to have to be brutally honest here, Firestorm isn't the most amazing map to be re-envisioned in the Frostbite 3 engine. I'm much more excited to tell you about Caspian Border, and that will be coming in the next video. But I'm not really sure why they included Firestorm. For me, at least, it wasn't a fan favourite map. I'm guessing it was one of the most played because it was a base map, but for me, I'd rather have had Dam Van Peak or something like that because Firestorm really doesn't interest me as much as some of the other maps do. But all in all, the map is a really, really good map to play. It's been really well done by DICE, re-envisioned in the Frostbite 3 engine. And I really enjoy playing it on the Xbox One as well. It was really good to play with more than 12v12. I think most of the time we were playing about 20v20, something like that. So we weren't playing the full 64 players that are available on next gen. But it still felt like a really good experience to actually have those more players on the map. But that's about all I have to say on the subject, guys, so I'm just going to let the video carry on. I've got some more footage that I want to show you, and obviously it's there for your enjoyment so that you can see what Second Assault is going to be like. So until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. The enemy has taken our flag. Capture the flag. 